I'm going to take a belt start. All right, hash brown done. Now I get my sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Yum, yum, yum. Like I said, it's not so much that I need the food, but it's like because I have to wake up so early, it's like I get real hungry. All right. Hey guys, Banshee's Claw is the best item in the game. Better slam it early, huh? <laughs> Is coffee a thing for you? No. I don't really drink coffee. Looks like one of them skirmisher games. What do I drive? A Toyota RAV4. What do you think about Tesla cars? They seem cool. A little expensive, but seem cool. Uh, we should win this fight. Which means I should sell everything. Olaf, don't let me down. Olaf, don't let me down. Olaf? Okay, good. There we go. Ten gold. Sweet. You have Hodge, and therefore you must go Akshan carry. Those are the rules? I don't know about that one. So someone just redeemed Force Trait Draconic. I will buy Draconic units and see if I can make it happen. But if I don't hit them pretty quick, that's not going to happen. But I'll try. Can you point out the little legend when someone scouts you? Sure. Someone scout me, quick. No one's scouting me. Oh, there they go. They scouted me. <laughs> Now they all scouted me. Off the top of your head, where does Banshee's rank in data? It's actually like mid to low is the funny thing. Because so many people build it. Its play rate is very high though. Level 5? Level 5 with a 2... Ah, uh, well. Ow. 
Hmm. I'm going to take 10 damage from this. Ow. That was rude. You promised an MF game? True. I have to hit MF, though, and it looks like it's contested. Uh, Soji, appreciate the prime. Would Banshee be more or less OP if it gave three shields to the bear instead of one shield to the units around the bear? If it gave three shields to the bear, I don't think anyone would build it, is my honest opinion. Like, no one would build it. Uh, Leak Pyro, appreciate the prime. I'm obsessed with your monitor so wide. It's so good. I I love this monitor. I wasn't sure if I was going to love it, but I ended up loving it a lot. All right, I have to refund the Force Draconic. That's not happening. Someone just requested One Winged Angel. Unfortunately, that one gets hard DMCA'd also. Don't blame me, I don't make the DMCA rules. Also, the fact we're stuck on Olaf 1, not really great for us here. Just hit Master, so I guess I can chill till set 6 comes around? Yep, sure can. Oof. Is the Little Legend update getting shipped soon? I mean, if it goes well this weekend, it'll ship next patch. Alright, yeah, Draconic didn't happen. I do want to play Draconic, because, again, it got buffed this patch quite a bit. All right, first place is that extreme high roller who got that level five start. Second place, also very strong knights opener with two star Hecram already. Look at that, they get their two star Hecrams and I'm still sitting on one star Olaf. Rude. Can we kill Ribbon maybe? Oh God. Took way too much damage early game. This is a very bad start. Very, very, very bad start. Just roll for Olaf? Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan! God, my comp is bad. Hey, I'm plat 2. I gain 39 LP when I get 1st, and I lose 74 when I get 8th. In what world is this fair? In the world where your actual MMR says you should be about a gold 4 player. So you're above the rank, and you're playing against other gold 4 players. I know that sucks to hear, but that's the real reason. I'm not, I'm not being a jerk. Like, that's just literally, like, that's the reason. Okay. Death Cap Hodge makes this really weird. Who uses Death Cap Hodge really well? Karma? Teemo? Yasuo, sure, but there's already too many. There are way too many Yasuo players in the lobby. Garen, Garen's a good one. The thing is, I don't know if. So basically, what we'd have to do is Lost Reap and hope for Garen off Carousel. Would be the play here. We've got good econ. So we can just Lost Streak, get Garen off Carousel, might be the play. Wait, am I going to win this fight? Oh god, I'm going to win this fight.
Lame. Lame. Look at that. Everyone's scouting me. You see all those scouters? You see all that? Everyone try harding. Let's see how that is. Blitz app is cheating? If it's the one that shows what the enemy comp is playing, yes, that's cheating. And you can get your account banned for using that. So, do it at your own risk. Oh god, two part must answer copy pasta from Taro incoming. He doesn't have the points to send it all. Oh god. Alright, hang on. Let me take my turn. I lose a gold. It happens. Alright. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Mort the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the subreddit would tell you. It's a TFT legend. Darth Mort Dog was a dark developer of TFT, so powerful and so wise he could use the RNG to influence the shops of everyone, make his dodge chance secretly 100%, or even put a Banshee's Claw in each of his late game creep rounds. He had such a knowledge of dark development that he could even keep the ones he cared about from missing their rolldowns. The dark side of development is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be OP. He became so powerful, the only thing he was afraid of was being Shadow Mort Dog himself. Unfortunately, he taught Kent everything he knew, then his apprentice Shadow Mort Dogged him on stream. Ironic, he could save others from bad RNG, but not himself. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Blitz app removed the comp display. Is using the new Blitz app still cheating? I mean, as long as the only thing that it's showing you that happens post game start is matchmaking, then it's not cheating. Like, yeah, I, I don't. I haven't installed Blitz app, so I don't know exactly what it does. But Stimmy party, Stimmy party, come on, open the Stimmy. Do it, do it. Open it. Oh my god, I gotta have to leave. Alright, three items. Great. I'm gonna hang on to this Diana. I have an idea that could be really silly. Some silly ideas, but we'd have to hit. So this does not help me. Ugh. I don't want to take that. That's boring. Here, item hold for me, buddy. Item hold for me, buddy. It's going to take some serious luck to do well here, but... Is that a four cannoneer build? Jesus. That's quite the high roll. Yep, four cannoneer. Woo! Woo! Alright, wish me luck. Is this patch after Worlds? Yes, this patch is after Worlds.
Okay, Tome of Traits makes this even more interesting. Shit. Well, going to be desperate here. Can we survive two more rounds to see if we hit the Garen? That's what it really comes down to. Because if I can hit the Garen, I can do some really silly stuff here. Okay. We're still really weak, but it's a fun build at least. Boom. Recon just one shots things over and over. Nice. Next turn, level, go all in. Pray for a Garen, basically. Pray for a Garen. No way we win this, right? It's a lot of healing on this team, though. Kind of a cool calm. Unfortunately, I think we won too many times, too. So. Uh, there is a Garen. Any chance they let me have it? Let's find out. Yeah. Cool. I tried. But this guy needed a Garen. I tried. Doesn't really give me a lot of options now. Some damage. Ow.
I need a Vlad, hilariously enough. And... Boom. <laughs> Alright, hits really hard. Uh... Is there anything I can do to make this comp better? Other than just level up and hit? Because and... I think it's get rid of 4 Dawnbringer for 6 Renewer if we hit it. The other thing would be hit Garen, obviously, and then go to 8. But the problem with that... No, I can do that. If I hit Garen... Okay. Uh, hey, Mort, I usually can't catch your stream live. Today I was able to play with you and win $100 on top of it. That's too generous, so thank you for that. I've been watching the VODs for over a year now, every week. It's always a blessing to watch the stream. I can't thank you and the team enough for an amazing game. Keep up the good work. My question is, win the Nerd Dog stream 12 hour? Ooh. I could give you one game of Nerd Dog if you want it. got to be this or this I am lacking frontline this protects this protects I think I'm going this nice I think it's this. This is our comp. Hey, Mort, uh, Mort Dog, I'm gonna make an auto chest for a finals project. Should I do it in Unity or Unreal as a beginner game with C++ experience? I would do it in Unity. Unity is probably your best bet. Whew! Second bell cause. Okay. Hello, hello. Oh, this seems very worth getting rid of two Dawnbringer for. And now I just need a Vlad to get rid of Riven. I'm not taking the Teemo though. Vlad to get rid of Teemo? Or Vlad to get rid of Riven, I mean. Here comes the ult. Boom. It does so much damage! <laughs> Fiddle over Riven for now? Sure. Sure. Vlad. Need Vlad. None of these are Vlad. Who wants a sword? Here, have a sword. Oops. Oh well. Eh, avoided the Diana. No cast. There's the cast and boom. That's a lot of power on that Heimerdinger. Whew! Frickin' Ophelios's man. I have been really struggling with him. Why mana cost increase doesn't count as crowd control and ignore by QS? Because it's not crowd control. Why would it count as crowd control? Ironclad, Ironclad, GA, Zephyr, Giant Slayer. I have to be lame and take this. If I could just find a Vlad, we're in a good spot. Oh. 
Hilariously enough, this is better than this right now. Good positioning. A double giant slayer, though. Whew. Boom. Alright, Heimer. Gonna need you to kill everything. Go, Heimer, go. Here it comes. Boom, 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 boom. It's a lot of damage. I feel bad for Roken, because they were in first for most of the game with that good MF start, and now they're about to crash out. Oh, Garen. I mean... If I guarantee it, I will take out Heimerdinger. If I guarantee it, I will take out Heimerdinger. Also, I forgot to use my Zephyrs. Diana. That Diana's annoying. It's gonna hurt. Boom. Oh, he's on the turret. He's on the turret. Don't kill the turret. No! Oh, it's gonna bug. New turret. Diana cast again. Jesus. Still one, though. Whew! Whew! Garen greater than Gragas? Yeah, but then I'd have a... Z I'd yeah, we'll get there. You're not wrong. Alright, fine. I'll even do it now, just for you. All of Yasuo's damage was on Heimerdinger turrets? True. True. Oh, the item remover makes this really easy. Alright, Garen. Not hitting Garen. Not hitting Garen or Vlad. Or Ivern. Sag, what do you mean Vlad? I did not miss a Vlad. You guys are crazy. You don't know. You don't know. Also, I should probably put this on Karma. You don't know. There was no Vlad. There was no Vlad. You guys are silly. There's no Vlad. I don't know what you're talking about. See, there's no Vlads. No Vlads. You guys are silly. I don't see any Vlads. Always the Dianas, man. There's always Diana, Al. Heimer's dead. It's always the Dianas, man. Dianas and Ophelioses. That's what we're gonna lose to all day today.
All right, well, we know we're up against this person this time, and of course, Diana's, so. I think I'm out of range of Diana here. I'm gonna need a second Heimer cast to win this. Got it. Nice. Feels good. Oh, still has one health left? God damn it. God, they're all still alive. Funny thing is, I know I can see it. Leave me alone. You don't know. Frickin' Dianas, man. It's always the Dianas. Shit, Jax is on me. Oh god, okay, Jax is dead. Uh, okay, whew! Jesus! Ah! This is close, this is way too close. This is way too nerve-wracking. Alright, who won over here? Alright, we gotta beat the... The three-star assassin, Lee Sin. Another Vlad. Hey, where's my team? Nice. Positioned poorly, but whatever. There's not much I can do. Yeah. He knows where I am. It's not much. I'm definitely the weaker person in the lobby here, but. Nope, we're dead. Leeson's gonna kill Heimer. Oh, second cast? Maybe? Nope. I don't think there's a way we win this, but. Renewer is kicking in. Another golem? Maybe? <gasps> yes! <laughs> we take those! We take those! GG! GG! Daisy Gang! <laughs>